Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make another YouTuber skin. This time, it's going to be Bashir. I have it on good authority that that's how you pronounce it. I get a lot of people in the comments section of uh, Sunday told me how to pronounce it. And, um, thank you to the people that actually responded, um, pointing me in the right direction of the skin. Especially Golden Apple, who actually posted a video um, showing exactly what it looked like. So, thank you very much, and let's get started. Um, so this is actually a really interesting skin, I feel. Um, it makes a really interesting looking statue because the head is completely different. It's really cool. And uh, the only thing I really have to say before I whip the colours out is... Uh, you can't really make it perfectly. Like, you can get most of the colours um, actually looking pretty right. Because it's just a watermelon. But the thing is, uh, the actual skin, it uses a load of like you know, double coloured blocks, so it'll be one colour one side, one colour the other side. So you can't get it perfect, but I think the skin, it comes out pretty nice. So what you're going to need is you're going to need dark green wool, light green wool, uh, white wool, there are light grey wool, white wool, uh, brown. Uh, I used cyan, but use whatever blue tickles your fancy. I use, uh, cyan's, you know, the closest colour that you can get. Um, and black, and also gold, or yellow. Gold or yellow, it's up to you. And, well, let's start. Right, so, you want to start, we're gonna just do like, the, make it about here. You're just gonna start with light green, and we're gonna go like left to right and make, um, make the base of his foot. So you just wanna do light green, dark green, light green, two dark green, Light green, dark green, light green, and it will be in a pattern like that. And then when you want, ah, blah. and then what you want to do is you want to extend like the green on the end up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that applies to this end as well. Is that is that right? Ish. Yeah, they're both the same size, and you can do the same thing for the dark green just next to them as well. I picked a wrong time to do this, I think it's going dark. Ah, oh, well. And you can also do the same for the dark green in the middle. And what you're going to do, so, you know, you've got all of those raised. Those should be eight high in total. Um, for this, you just, you essentially, I, I didn't notice until now, you want to make it so that it's like, you know, a lowercase i in his legs, and then you just want to fill that in with light green. And I want to finish the legs before I sleep, to be honest. So I'm, I'm gonna, that's the goal. So they're the bottom parts of the legs. You know, pause that if you have to. Remember that they're eight high. And then what you want to do on top of those is you just want to stack a row of eight uh, light grey wool on top. And then uh, on the ends of the next row, you just want to do like two white and fill the rest of the row in with brown. And then on top of the brown, on the next row, you just want to do white, just covering the entire brown. And then on top of the white, you want to do brown, so it alternates like that. And then what you want to do is, you want to do a row of light grey wool on top of that. He's wearing short shorts or something, uh, or at least it, that, that's what it looks like. Um, but that is the 12 blocks of the legs. Um, I'm going to sleep. And Alright, so that's what we left off with. Now, let's make the torso. So, on the two middle blocks, you just want to place gold block, like that. And to fill the rest of the row in, you want to use black. Because he's wearing a belt, and um, the belt buckle is yellow, but I like gold personally. But, you know, use whatever you like, it's up to you. And then what you want to do is, I think I'm going to make this slightly unconventionally. So, we're going to build, like, a middle part of his tool. So, we're going to get, like, the buttons of his shirt done. So on top of the gold directly on top, it, you, on top of it you just want to do two cyan, then on top of that you want to do two black, and then you want to do two like layers of cyan, like that. Then you want to do one layer of black, two layers of cyan again, one layer of black, one layer of cyan. So let me, let me show you what this looks like. So you know from on top of the gold you can see quite obviously one cyan, one black, two cyan, one black, two cyan, one black, one cyan. So, you know, pause that if you have to, and um, on top of that, you just want to, like, the left block, you want to have light green, right block, dark green, like that. 
and that's the intricacies of the shirt taken care of. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make the arms, because I'm I'm gonna I'm making it kind of like an outline. Um, <clears throat> so his arms obviously start down at his belt, and we'll start with the right one. And going right, you want these colours. You just want dark green, light green, dark green, light green. And you want to advance, like raise those up by five blocks. So on top of you know each of them, one, two, three, four, five, and on top of the light green, do the same. Dark green, same. Light green, same. Obviously, like that. And we're just going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So you know from going from the inside to the outside, uh, dark green, light green, dark. Whoops, dark green, light green. Really stripy looking pixel art this. And just raise them up by five. One, two, three, four, five. For a total of six. And just raise them all up like that. Nice and nice and dandy. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we are going to do the sleeves. Um, let me just make sure that I've got this right. Yeah, I have got this right. Because um, I... This is something that I ran into on like my first draft of this, because obviously I make it first, and then I, um, well, sometimes twice, um, I make it, and then I, you know, I I, I do it here, and um, I got this wrong the first time around. What you want to do is you want to raise like the um, the arms up with cyan wool, and you want to connect them to the top of the pixel art um, here. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, I. I I done goofed again. You want to go one higher than like the highest point of the pixel art. And then you want to drag it over by three, one, two, three. So it's in line with the arm. And you want to do the same thing on the other side as well. So you make sure it's one higher than like these two green blocks. And then you drag it three over like that. And then what you want to do is to connect these two cyan. You want to, we'll start from the left. You just want to do like dark green, light green, dark green, light green, and you know, just do that pattern until you reach the other side like that. Uh, the reason being is because his head um, is slightly larger because he's got his mouth open, and because he's got his mouth open, his like his jaw is um, one block lower than it should be, ergo, you know, in his shirt. Um, so, you know, the torso is actually 12 blocks high, um, it's just that it sinks down in a little bit. But um, what you want to do now is, you simply want to fill all of that in with cyan. And um, I'm going to fill it with cyan and come back. I don't even know why I made that off recording. That took like 20 seconds. <laughs> um, but anyway, now what we're going to do is, we're going to make the back. And, well... Let me just zoom in. So there, there's the full frontal view. You know, pause that if you have to. Have a look. Make sure yours is exactly the same. Um, now we can move on to the back anyway. Uh, again, because of the multicolor block sort of thing, um, it's not, you know, 100% in line with the actual skin. But, you know, I tried my best. You know that that's how I roll. Um, so we just want to drag the skin back um, three blocks because skins are four blocks thick, or at least you know the torso is. Um, so start at either side and just um, dark green, light green, dark green. You're just carrying on the whole um, like stripey pattern around essentially. So you want to have it like that, and um, you want and for the back actually, um, you know. So you want to have that. You can see. Um, so like, starting from the right here, you want to go like light green, and you want to go dark green, to light green, dark green, light green. So it's kind of like an inverse pattern of what's in the front, but that's what you want to have anyway. And what you want to do now is you can raise the two green in the middle, you can raise them up by, like you're keeping it in line with the front bit, so I can't, I think that you go up seven blocks with these. But, you know, just keep it in a row in line with um, the front section and you'll be fine and you can use that as kind of a measuring tool. And um, the two dark green next to it, you can raise those um, up just as high. And you can do the same thing for the dark green on the end as well. 
like this. So you have that. And then what you want to do is you cut you kinda wanna make the eye again, but they're in a different position, so you wanna do it um, on the out part of the leg, so you want to have that. <clears throat> And you just want to fill that in with light green, and you'll be able to see it easy when it's filled in because you won't uh, be able to see through to the uh, to the front bit. But that's what you want to have anyway. Nice and simple. And then what you want to do is we want to we want to make kind of the same pattern that's on the front, but not exactly. Uh, so layer a row of light grey on top, and then it's kind of like inverse for the shorts as well. Um, so on the ends, you kind of want to do two brown like that, and then you want to fill the middle bit in with white, and then you want to put brown on top of the white, white on top of the brown. Can you see how it's kind of like upside down mirror mode, Mario double dash, sort of, like that. Then you want to stack one row of light grey on top, and let me show you them in all of their glory, just in case you have to pause, make sure that you've done it right, etc, etc. Right, um, so there, there's no belt or anything on the back, although thinking about it, there probably should be, it should come all the way, all the way around, but it doesn't, it doesn't. So what you want to do is, you just want to layer one row of cyan on top of what you have, and we're going to make the arms. The arms are, again, they're kind of like, you know, reverse, so... You just want to have the opposite pattern, so you can see that it starts like dark, um, dark green. So light green, dark green, light green, dark green. Um, we'll do the same on the other side as well. And they go up just as high as the other parts of the arms do, uh, or the other side of the arms do, which should be, um, I think it's six in total. But again, it doesn't really matter because you can use the front to measure, anyways. So. Like that. There we go. And now, all that's left is... Well, just to make sure that there's no confusion or anything, like this top row of like where his head will be, just bring that back three blocks as well. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna stop counting. I was going to make a clever pun, but I failed. Um, and it's good that it's getting dark, actually, because all you want to do now is you just want to... You see the whole torso, the middle bit, the arms, etc. That is all cyan. So, you know, just to give you a bit of a clue. Um, you just keep the cyan in line. Um, just making a bit of an outline. Like that. All of that in the middle there, cyan easy and that is the back completed after that so I'm going to be right back as I fill all of this in and it will be daytime when I get back and there you go there you have the back nice and easy everything included so uh, pause if you have to take it all in now what we're going to do is we're going to make the sides um, the sides are really easy as well not entirely accurate, but they're easy, all right. So you know, um, what side are we on? We're on the like if you're looking straight at left side. So um, what you want to do is you just want to make the legs even, and of course that just means keeping in line the the pattern that we set down on the floor. So you know, just um, drag the legs up by you know seven blocks. Alternatively, just use your eyes and um, and um, you know see where it comes up to. Uh, you want to keep the grey going round. Um, what you want to do here is you kind of want to keep the pattern of the shorts going round. So you want to, you know, have them connect like that. And white there. Grey on top, like that. And, um, well that's it for the legs. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side since I like to do the legs and then the, and then the arms and stuff. I don't know why. It's the autism showing. And then you just want to drag the green up again on the side of the legs. If you're having any trouble, just have a look over there. Um, if you've managed to do one side already, um, follow the brown around. 
a lot of the white around, they meet in the middle like that, nice pattern, grey there, legs done, nice and easy. Um, I mean there's a still if you want it, pause that if you have to, want to, whatever. Um, now we're on to the arms. So the arms obviously, they follow around in the same sort of pattern. Um, so again, I actually did this on my original, I, I always say, don't forget to do the bottom of the hands. Well, I did. I forgot. So, don't forget to do the bottom of the hands. Um, obviously, just keep the pattern like that. Um, can destroy those two. Like that. You see, it's, it kind of looks weird from like a bottom or top view. When you um, when you make it carry all the way around, but that doesn't matter. Who's going to be looking underneath? And I know you could use that logic. Well, if nobody's going to be underneath, uh, why are you following? The f why fill in the bottom of the hand? Because I said so. That's why. And then, <laughs> then um, just fill the arm in as you think you might with the cyan wall. Throw cyan on top. Um, make sure the top of the shoulders filled in. Now go over to the other side of the pixel art. Fill in the bottom of the hand, like that, oops, do the other arm like that, again should look weird, a little weird on the bottom but who cares, um, fill in the shoulder with the cyan, top the shoulder, and you have the easiest part of Bashir, Bashir, whatever, you have the easiest part anyway. Um, the hardest part is going to be the hand, and it's actually, it's not complicated, but it's easy to mess up, which is why exactly now I'm going to dash off, I'm going to take um, some clo like some closer stills of his head to make sure that I'm actually going to be doing it like I've done it. Um, you know, there's the side view of the side again if you, if you need it, but um, like I said, I'm going to be back in a second. Alright guys, I, I've got it all figured out. I've took some stills of the head, got some nice close-up all up in there, and I, I know what to do. Follow me. Alright, so you want you don't need all of these um, all of these colours anymore. You need a different array of colours, so ditch the ones you have and get out both of the greens again. Uh, black, light grey, white wool, red, uh, dark blue, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, once you've got all of those colours, what we want to do is, as some of you may know, you need to stretch the head two in front and two back, because that is how Minecraft skins are. Um, so luckily, we have where the head's going to be in line, um, in line already. So what you, you just want to use the same colours um, that you can see for the top row here, um, keep the pattern all in line and just drag it forward two blocks. And we'll also drag it back two blocks. I'd usually wait until a little later. But while we're doing it, while we're doing it... There you go. So, that overhangs two on each side. Very good. Now, uh, w one of the reasons that I actually really like this statue, uh, or this skin, I suppose you could say, is because of what, what we're going to be doing now. The mouth is... Like he's got his mouth open and his teeth are situated like a little, a little behind where it comes out. They start here, so you know you can see exactly where on top of this green. And what you want to do is you want to take out the light grey, and you want to do two light grey going to the right, two white, two light grey. And can can you see where they are? Give you a bit of a diagonal. You should be able to see where they start. They start the um they're there. That's the positioning on, on top of there. You want to do one row of red on top. And then for the next row, you just want to do the same thing you did for the bottom row. So with the uh, light grey and the white, exactly like that. And then the head's like back to normal again for the next row. Um, so you, what you want to do is you want to line up the colours again. And you kind of just want to... There. Um, there is just one like row of the pattern. Um, so it should you should have that if you can see should be nice and easy 
And what we want to do after that is we want to make some of his old-fashioned 3D glasses, which I remember all too fondly. I hated them, they never worked. Um, so from left to right, white, two red, two white, two dark blue, one white. So you have that. And now what you want to do is, you want to, it goes back to the pattern again. Um, and it's three blocks of it, so one, two, three, three, oops, three blocks high. You should be able to lock fly mode. So it's just three blocks high, um, and you want to do that all the way across, and that is, you know, that's as high as his head goes, and that is, you know, um, and, well, that's that, that's, that's the front face of it done. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to do the side view. Um, I think I'm going to put the glasses in just for reference. So, you know, where the glasses start here, you want to drag them back by, uh, let me get this right, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks, one, oops, two, three, four, five, six. No, you don't want, you want to drag them back five blocks, apparently, one, one, two, three, four, five, because you want it in, you just want it in line with, like, your shoulder here, the back block of your shoulder, and just, uh, throw one block down like that. And what you want to do is you want to connect the white and, um, like, the side of his head with, uh, dark green, and then to the block next to it, you want to do this, and you want to come up two with this dark green here, so you want to have that. And let's do the same thing on the other side as well. So you drag this back as far as um, the back of his shoulder, so here. Or alternatively, have a look at the other side. And bring it down one. Um, I'm not sure it's the same on both sides of the head. At yeah, it is actually. Um, I wasn't sure if the pattern like broke up a little. But um, connect the white to the side of his head with the dark green. And then light green next to it. And then just two dark green going up right there. And um, what you do here is one last thing. I d no, you know what? I'll, I'll actually sleep and then I'll do it because we'll be able to get most of the head done in the sunlight then. Uh, the head's kind of dodgy. I'm, you know, I'm having a little, a little trouble um, figuring out how to how to explain it. But you know. Um, I don't know, using your eyes is explanation enough, I should hope. Um, so, you know, I'll be back once uh, once the daylight's out again. Alrighty then. So, we have the daylight, we have the advantage. And, um, something that we'll do now, actually, as opposed to later, we'll make the side of the head. The side of the head, obviously, you follow the same sort of pattern, but... For the left and right side, it's slightly different. Remember how I mentioned those multicolored blocks? Yeah, we don't have them. So on the left side of his head, um, on top of his glasses, because we there's no more there's no more blocks here. Actually, there's one there, which is a dark green, but there's no more in this area, uh, like underneath his glasses. Um, this row, it's like two dark green in a row, and then the pattern, um, you know, it returns. So then you just do the stripey pattern. Um, do it all the way to the back. Um, don't do it all the way around because it is actually a little, a little different. It's not what you might imagine um, for the back of the head. Um, so you know, once you've done that, go to the other side, and you want to do the same thing. Um, this block here, it's actually dark green. Um, and then on top, just carry the pattern around until you reach uh, the second to last row, because uh, these last two rows. Um, they're light green. Um, again, you don't have the multicolored blocks, so what can you do? Um, so you want to be left with that. You can see all that space there. Yeah, we're going to be making the side of his mouth. Um, so there's no real way for me to explain it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to be supposed to look like, and you know you can you can do it from there. I mean, it doesn't matter how it works on the inside. But it's, this is how it looks from the side view. So, you know, pause that if you have to. I'm going to make the other side, and I'll maybe make it slightly slightly slower. So, you, you know, you have this first row here. Um, so, you want this bottom block to be white. And you want... Um, you just want this, this block, like, 
this grey block here, you want that one to be grey, you want an up left diagonal of it essentially, and the rest of it from the side is red. So, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, there you go, that's the side of the mouth, pause that if you have to. And I think that looks really cool. I, I, don't know, I don't know what I like about it, I just think that that's cool. I, he's, he's just got a giant grin on his face. I, I like it, I like it. Um, so you want to have this. You just want you just want the back completely open like that. <clears throat> and there's a good reason. Uh, so what you want to do is, well, we'll start from the left side and we'll go to the right. You want to uh, you carry around the pattern first of all, and you want to um, you know starting from the outside and going in. You want to bring this up until it is two blocks away from the top, which should be. Uh, Six blocks. Six, why? Well, just make it two away from the top. I, I can't remember how many blocks. And equally so, you want to do the same thing on the other side, two blocks away from the top. And then you want to do it so that this next row is two blocks away from the row that you've just made, like this. And then these two middle blocks want to be one away, like that. So you can see what I mean, like that. And now we'll make the top of the head. Um, so the top of the head, it's a little weird, um, it looks a little weird, I should say, um, from the top view. Uh, what what you kind of want to do is, es essentially what you've just done on the back here, you want to do to the top. So, you know, imagine that this is like, the new top. So, we're front facing one here, you want to carry the pattern up, and you want to make sure it's two blocks away from the top. So, do that on the other side as well. And then the next row, you want to make sure that that's two blocks away from the, you know, current top, like that. And then one block away, like that. So you've got this sort of pattern. And I, d I don't know how many of you all know this, because, you know, I, I had no idea. But obviously I have a look around all of the skins, around the 360 view. The back of his head is actually smashed open. And, um... You, you can see the melon, or, you know, what would be the brain, which is the second reason that I like this. I think it is a really cool, cool thing. So what you want to do now, essentially, is just you want to make it so that it's only red showing to, like, the outside. So it, do, it doesn't really matter how you do it, um, you know, from the inside, but you just want it... You obviously want the 3D effect, you want it to look lit, and you want it to... Um, so let me let me show you what I mean by the whole 3D effect. Obviously, the melon is like supposed to be one block in, and the shell is um, the shell is in the up. So this, you kind of want that. And then what we want to do is we want to put the pips in or the seeds, whatever you want to call them, um, which is in this position, this position, this position, this position. We'll just do the back ones first. Um, so like that's for the back of the head. That's where the, that's where the pips go, and um, on top here, you know you've already got two because you've got two on the uh, top row of the back. Uh, you want them here and here. So just put those in. Um, so let me just th this is a complete. Back no, let me let me go around it actually. Let me just let me get rid of these colors. This is the front face in all of its glory. Let me get the hood off as well because I'm finished. Um, this is the front face. This is, like, his right side. This is his left side. This is the back of the head. That is so cool. I like that. And this is the top view of his head. How cool is that? I just, I just think that that's such a it's such a it's such a clever call. I I like it. I love the effect, and that's the top. Um, and this is you know let let me give you a bit of a panoramic view, and this is it in its glory. Like the body, is it's not plain like some of the others. So even though it is you know pretty simple, it still looks cool anyway because it's all stripy. It's nice and coloured. It's it's pretty cool looking, um, but then it's got the added effect of the head. Is I love it when I love it when these statues they have something a little different to them. I like it when they're just not your conventional, you know, not to insult anybody's skin like Bodil Forty, Bodil Forty, and Sunday. Their statues they're a bit 
they're a bit conventional. Deadlocks has the headset. Sky's Sky's um, skin is just it's 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 varied. Um, ASF Jerome, the head is you know he d it does something special. I like it when they're special like that. Same for this guy. This guy's is probably my favourite. So there you have it. I know it will be slightly longer than the conventional one, but that's because the head's a little, a little different. So um, I don't know who'll be next on the YouTuber from. Probably not a new guy. Probably a re, um, me redoing one or more of them. But after this, I'm gonna try and get to the house tutorials. I'm gonna build some plans up. You probably won't see them till midweek if I do make them. Um, you're gonna see some remakes, you're gonna see something a little different to do with Sky Does Minecraft. I don't know how many of you will like it, but you know how it is. I'm gonna stop talking because this video is already long enough. So, thanks for watching. I hope that this was useful. Hey, if you've made it this far into the video, maybe you think I deserve a like. If you want to, comment. And if you're new here, maybe you should think about subscribing. I put out new content at least every other day. And for my fellow video makers, if you're interested in a YouTube partnership, click the link below in the description.